Hello, 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 hello. It is Morel with Stories for Kids podcast. Oh, I hope you are fine. I hope you are being wonderfully good. And though if it is raining outside, I hope that in your heart you are smiling, smiling, smiling. <laughs> I'm going to ring my story bell. Story bell. And again. And one more time. <laughs> okay, fine. And little birdie comes along. Oh, birds, birds, birds do fly. Hi. Hello, birdie. <laughs> Hello, birdie. All right, okay. Now, what is the story? The Merry Little Breezes. They are going to save the green meadows. Come along. Let's find out what happens. Old Mother West Wind's family is very big. Very big indeed. There are dozens and dozens of merry little breezes, all children of old mother West Wind. Every morning, she comes down from the purple hills and tumbles them out of a great bag onto the green meadows. Every night, she gathers them into the great bag and putting it over her shoulder, takes them to their home behind the purple hills. One morning, just as usual, old mother West Wind turned the merry little breezes out to play on the green meadows. Then she hurried away to fill the sails of the ships and blow them across the great ocean. The merry little breezes hopped and skipped over, over the green meadows, looking for someone to play with. It was then that one of them discovered something, something very dreadful. It was a fire. Oh, yes, sir, it was a fire in the meadow grass. Someone had dropped a lighted match and now little red flames were running through the grass in all directions. The merry little breeze hastened to tell all the other little breezes and all rushed over as fast as they could to see for themselves. They saw how The little red flames were turning to smoke and ashes, everything they touched. And how black and ugly, with nothing alive there, became that part of the green meadows where the little flames ran. It was dreadful. Then, one of them noticed that the little red flames were running in the direction of Johnny's Chuck's new house. Would the little red flames burn up Johnny Chuck as they burned up the grass and the flowers? Hi, cried the merry little breeze. We must warn Johnny Chuck and all the other little mellow people. So, He caught up a capful of smoke and raced off as fast as he could to Johnny Chuck's house. Then each of the merry little breezes caught up a capful of smoke and started to warn one of the little meadow people or forest folks. So, pretty soon, jolly, round, red Mr. Sun, looking down from the blue sky, saw Johnny Chuck, Jimmy Skunk, Peter Rabbit, Striped Chipmunk, Danny Meadow Mouse, Reddy Fox, Bobby Coon, Happy Jack Squirrel, 
Chatterer, the red squirrel, Jumper, the hare, and old Mr. Toad all hurrying as fast as they could to the smiling pool. Where live Billy Mink and little Joe Otter and Jerry Musrat and Spotty the turtle and Grandfather Frog. There they would be quite safe from the little red flames. <gasps> oh, gasped Johnny Chuck, puffing very hard, for you know he's round and fat and roly-poly, and it was hard work for him to run. <gasps> what will become of my nice new house, and uh, what will there be left to eat? The merry little breeze who had brought him the warning in a cap full of smoke, thought for a minute. Then he called all the other little breezes to him. We must get Farmer Brown's help, or we will have no beautiful green meadows to play on, said the merry little breeze. So together, they rushed back to where the little red flames had grown into great, angry red flames that were licking up everything in their way. The merry little breezes gathered a great cloud of smoke and lifting all together, they carried it over and dropped it in Farmer Brown's dooryard. Then... One of them blew a little of the smoke in at the open window, near which Farmer Brown was eating breakfast. Farmer Brown coughed and strangled and sprang from his chair. Phew! Oh! cried Farmer Brown. "Hmm, I smell smoke. There must be a fire on the meadows. Then he shouted for his boy and for his hired man and the three with shovels in their hands started for the green meadows to try to put the fire out. The merry little breezes sighed with relief and followed to the fire. But when they saw how fierce and angry the red flames had become, they knew that Farmer Brown and his boy and his hired man would not be able to put the fire out. Choking with smoke, they hurried over to tell the dreadful news to the little meadow people and forest folks gathering at the smiling pool. Chugaroom, why don't you help put the fire out? said Grandfather Frog. We warned... Farmer Brown and his boy and his hired man. What more can we do? asked one of the merry little breezes. Go find and drive up a rain cloud, replied Grandfather Frog. Splendid, cried all the little meadow people and forest folks. Hurry, hurry, oh do hurry. So the merry little breezes scattered in all directions to hunt for a rain cloud. It's a good thing that old Mother West Wind is such a big family, said Grandfather Frog. For one of them is sure to find a wandering rain cloud somewhere. Then all the little meadow people and forest folk sat down around the smiling pool to wait. They watched the smoke roll up until it hid the face of jolly, round, red Mr. Sun. Their hearts almost stood still with fear as they saw the fierce, angry red flames leap into the air and climb tall trees on the edge of the green forest. Splash! Something struck in the smiling pool right beside Grandfather Frog's big green lily pad. Spat! Something hit Johnny Chuck right on the end of his funny little black nose. There were drops 
of water. Hurrah! cried Johnny Chuck, whirling about. Sure enough, there were drops of water, raindrops, and there, coming just as fast as the merry little breezes could push it, and they were pushing very hard, very hard indeed, was a great black rain cloud spilling down rain as it came. When it was just over the fire, the great black rain cloud split wide open and the water poured down so that the fierce angry red flames were drowned in a few minutes. (gasps) said Farmer Brown, mopping his face with his handkerchief. That was warm work. Oh, that shower came up just in time and it is lucky it did. But you know, And I know. And all the little meadow people and forest folks know that it wasn't luck at all. But the quick work, the quick work and the hard work of old Mother West Wind's big family of merry little breezes which saved the green meadows. And this too is one reason why Peter Rabbit and Johnny Chuck and Bobby Coon and all the other little meadow and forest people love the merry little breezes who play every day on the green meadows. Oh, Birdie, that's a lovely story. Ah, say hello, Birdie, or say bye-bye, Birdie, now. (laughs) Bye, Bernie. But, 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 lovely story. And we are coming back again, aren't we, Bernie? Yes, we are. We will be back. We will be back. Stories for kids. Stories for kids with me, Morel. I will be back soon. Ah, see you then. And please subscribe. Please subscribe to Stories for Kids with Morel Podcast. Please subscribe. I'll see you soon. All right. And share. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.